Okay, the red team and the blue team. If I, um, if I just give you the rules then about how the box works as a, as a speaking and listening strategy. So you've seen some footage of Miley Cyrus in her latest video. I'm sure you all know what she's got up to at the VMA Awards as well and the rather naughty dancing that she did. You both have an argument that and this is a competition. You have, you have your boxers, Mr. Spetch and Mr. Frankish. They are the people who are going to argue your corner. And this is a competition. Your objective is to win um, the argument. Okay? You're going to have, or your boxers in fact, are going to have minute rounds in which they get an opportunity to argue and discuss and listen to each other. The referee is played by myself, so if there's anything inappropriate has happening, people talking over each other, then I might step in. It has to be a clean fight, gentlemen. Um, and you are arguing from a position that's not necessarily that you believe in this position, but it's a position that you're going to fight for. The red corner, your position, is this. That Miley Cyrus is yet another victim of a male-dominated society that exploits women and images of women for titillation and financial reward. This is what you're going to convince Mr. Spetch is true. Your argument is that as an independent and strong-minded woman, Miley Cyrus has control over her own career and image, and she's a positive example, therefore, for young girls. So this is the argument that you're going to put forward and try and convince this team is, is true. Now, before we do the first uh, bout, you'll, you basically have 30 seconds just to talk to your team and get your initial arguments and uh, knock out blows. Time starts now. Okay, if the boxers would like to take your confrontational chairs. So the two corners, you need to be listening very carefully to the arguments that are put forward from the opposite team. Listen to how you're going to counteract these in the next round. Seconds away, round one. It's the 21st century, so uh, she's moving with signs. Uh, she's becoming a modern woman. Thing is, Mr. Spetch, the guy who directed the video for Wrecking Ball made her wear these clothes. Did you know that? Nobody can make you do anything. You have freedom of speech. You're entitled to do what you want. Well, she didn't want to do it. It didn't happen here. Well, no, she, so he did force her. And he's also known for actually raping some of the models that he takes pictures of. Okay, well, that may be so, but you can't judge everybody by its cover. If he had done something previously, you can't necessarily say he's doing it now. Well, no, it's because the, the society he works in, the modelling industry, has said that it's okay for him to do this. Do you think it's okay for that to happen? Uh, not at all, but then and day, it's in the music video. She's portraying something. She's gone from Disney to where she is now. Uh, it's a democratic society. She didn't have to do it. Then the day, you have freedom of speech, freedom of right. She chose to do it. That's that. Round one over. Go back to your corners. Discuss with your team that they need to come back. They need to win the bout. Okay, seconds away. Round two. Seconds away. Round two. Remember, gentlemen, this is this is our final round. So if you're going to win this bout, this whole contest, it needs to be done in this round now. Don't take prisoners. Get your arguments in. Win the competition. Seconds away. Round two. Okay, we spoke about choice before. She's never had much choice because even when she was in Disney, the people didn't give her a choice. They made her do things. So she doesn't, she'll have that at a young age. She doesn't know what choice is. She's never really had a choice throughout her life. She's just been dealt these cards uh, to make money. And she will have got some money out of it. So she just thinks that's the right way to go. And really, it's not. Okay, I mean, she, as you said, she's grown up in that kind of environment. She worked at Disney. Also, her father was in the music industry, the Ray Cyrus. So she's, she's grown up in that environment. She's fully aware of what goes on. Um, so she's not naive or stupid in this environment. Um, she's she's a powerful woman. I mean, she did get crit going back to the previous point. She got criticised by Sinead O'Connor, one of her rivals, um, but she came back fighting, saying that I make my own choices. This is what I do. Me, I control myself, not the media. The, the, the media control everybody in terms of the, the female kind of figure. Britney Spears, Rihanna, they're all in videos where they're not can't wear much clothes, they've got a floor what they've got to sell sort of record, so none of them got a choice. They're all just playing to the same hymn sheet because that's what everyone has to do. You can't go on there fully dressed in clothes and not looking very sexy because they've all got to go to that image now. They're all wanting to make money. These women want to make money. You know, we live in a, in a, in a modern world. Women have as much right 
allowed to go out there and make as much money as they want. Previously, the music industry was occupied and controlled by the players. Now we're and that's the round over, gentlemen, I'm afraid. You may stand up. First round. Okay, scored to Mr. Frankish. The second round scored to Mr. Speck. Yeah. <laughs> it's a draw, unfortunately. <laughs> if only.